Aldredania is an isolated Velothi tower found on the northern islands of Sheogorad. There are a couple of very interesting magical items in this tower. One is the Bitter Cup, an artifact sacred to Clavicus Vile. The other item is the Vampiric Ring, a deadly and rare ring. A winding path up on a small hill leads us to the ancient tower of Aldredania. As you near the tower, you feast on spectacular views of the islands of Sheogorad. Many NPCs will state that Aldredania is a remote fishing village. However, this is untrue, as no other buildings or even living people are located anywhere near the ruins of the tower. All you see are a few undead guarding the entrance. Once the undead are eliminated, you admire the stunning view from the top of the hill. As usual, you are captivated by Morrowind's high fantasy atmosphere. You enter the tower. You find two trap doors and you get busy. The door to your left has a dead body. The trapped and locked door on your right opens to a room which has multiple undead creatures. There are stairs that take you to the main room. And look at this painting. Wow. What is this place? On the altar you find some gold, some soul gems. Watch out for the undead when you loot them. House of Horrors. Look at that. But the main item on the altar is the Bitter Cup, a magical artifact sacred to Clavicus Vile, the Daedric Prince of Bargains. Drinking from the Bitter Cup has brought out the best and the worst in people throughout history. You wish to drink from the Bitter Cup or to pick it up. Drinking from the cup will improve your best attribute and lower your worst. If you drink, the cup is lost forever. Wow. It'll improve your best attribute and lower your worst. The Bitter Cup will give you something fantastic, but at a steep price. Drinking from the Bitter Cup can be a terrible idea if you don't watch your lowest attribute score. In this case, getting an important attribute like agility down to 10 was not wise. You make your way back outside to catch your breath and rest. This painting is very interesting. I think it uh, is depicting Veloth. How he got the Dunma from Somerset Island to one or I, th I think so. I don't know. Could be something different. Morrowind, the house of horrors. Oh, what a crazy place, man. Nothing here, right? What's up, skeleton? <laughs> Looks at me and keeps going. So funny. After some rest, it's time to head back inside to acquire the, the vampiric ring. Unfortunately, the ring is worn by the skeleton war wizard who is a unique high-level undead skeleton. You will have to fight and defeat all the undead before meeting the war wizard. Unless he starts reflecting. <laughs> You're gone. Okay. These skeletons are very weak with fire. They, they can't stand fire. There you go. Once the undead are cleared, climb the stairs to meet the war wizard. Who is the main guy? Yeah, get him. Brilliant. Now, who has the vampire ring? Oh, you have it. Vampiric ring. 32,000 bucks. Holy cow. Absorb fatigue, absorb health. Absorb fatigue, absorb health. For 10 seconds. So 10 seconds, your health is dropping. Your fatigue is dropping. So you can't run. And you're getting weak as well. I like it. Now let's get out of Aldredania. And let's try our new shiny vampiric ring against enemies. Sargon. Right? Um. Oh my god. Ooh, look at his health drop for 10 seconds. Look at that man. Drop health. Ooh. This is an amazing ring. <laughs> well, it only has two charges, unfortunately. His fatigue was dropping dramatically, his health was dropping dramatically, and 
did have a chance. Wow. There is no escape. Oh my God, his fatigue is dropping. Look at that, man. Uh. Wow. I love this ring, man. The vampiric ring is one of the more deadly and rare artifacts in Tamriel. The power to steal its victim's health and grant it to the wearer is lethal to even the strongest foes in Morrowind. That was Aldredania, an ancient and mysterious tower with incredible magical artifacts that can aid the Nereverine in his upcoming trials.